Unlike previous years where the month of January has been hot and many farmers could not plant certain crops, the situation is different this year. Where the experts have confirmed that sporadic rains around Lake Victoria and western parts of the country will continue till mid-February. William George Omonga, senior meteorologist at the Uganda National Meteorological Authority attributes the increasing rains to increasing winds from the Indian Ocean that turn into rain. Uganda National Meteorological Authority has asked farmers to plant crops that take a short time to mature, <laughs> such as vegetables. If somebody wants to plant, go into the short term maturing crops, like green veggies. And where you are planting, it should also matter. Because there are other areas which depends water content and others which doesn't. So if you know that there is an area like an <coughs> wetland area which is a water retention area, so you can plant some green veggies. You take some few days so that you can plant it. But don't go into planting this kind of crop which takes like one month, two months. Now farmers who plan to plant crops that take long have been asked to prepare their fields because the weather cycle is expected to return to normal. Where the experts have also explained the water phenomenon that was termed as a water tornado on Lake Bunyonyan in southwestern Uganda as a water sprout. Yusuf Nsuvuga, a weather expert at the Uganda National Meteorological Authority, says this was called water sprouting. A water sprout is an intense columnar vortex, usually appearing as a fan shaped cloud that occurs over a body of water. Uh, a tornado is occur over land, okay? Uh, whereby you have uh, this uh, this funnel cloud touching the, the, the surface of the land, okay? And as I said, it covers uh, 100 kilometers in diameter. So, uh, what is the, the life cycle of this uh, of the of the water spout? It takes five to ten minutes. If it is the uh, air. At a strong one, it can go for an hour. But when you look at the tornado, it can even stay for, for days, okay? Making a lot of destruction. In Subuga says water sprouts often happen on Lake Victoria, and it was such a rare currency for it to happen on Lake Bunyoni. This report was compiled by Timothy Moronji for New Vision TV.